Luffy Gear 5 Stomp. Big, giant version of Luffy. So, there are a couple of Gear 5 ones. They're fun. It's a really good form. I like it. Uh, right, so this is from the manga. But it's for the... It's a really clear one in the manga. So, let's give it a go. So, we've got this big foot, right? So, we have to draw that first. So, I'm in a landscape page. Pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? So, we're going to do the foot over here. And it's like a big bean sort of shape. It's pretty simple. So... It's just his sandal, you know, the base of it. So it just like goes around like this on top. And then the back of it comes down to his heel. And around up here. So it's nearly like, takes up a good chunk of the page, right? And then his toes kind of stick up the top. Right? So, and they're done just these curved lines. Right. And you can have grip sort of lines just coming across the bottom. You can do as many of that as you want. And where it attaches to his sort of foot here. The strap. So his knee then comes out from here. So it wraps around. And there's no angles really, it's just it's all sort of bumps around like that. And his heel will be here. This is what you call extreme perspective or foreshortening, right? The foot gets so much bigger and everything goes back, gets smaller. So we got like his fluffy knee thing. So that fur that's around his trousers, the bottom of his trousers, just where it meets his leg. And oh, yeah, we have an ankle bone here. Kind of like that. And there's like some scratches and dirt and stuff on this. Okay, so his leg will go down this way, right? So real big. And this is where his waistband will be. Right, so his head is like in here, all like crunched up. And all that. These sorts of lines. And so that's like his waistband there. Center line for his trousers body line there. And then his like... Thing that's wrapped around his waist just here so you might as well finish the legs so it like bumps around don't normally draw legs right so another sort of fluffy thing around here and there's like some fold lines and stuff all going towards his knee that way Okay, and his other leg kind of hooks around here. It's much smaller than this one now because we've got like extreme perspective. So this one goes like up around here and it comes around to his foot, which is like in there. And then his knee. Comes out around here somewhere. So his sandals attached there and his toes very basic sort of drawn toes. And this big toe. Right. And then the sandal itself, just like coming off here. Like that. Okay. And I have like And stuff like that. So, what do we do now? I guess we'll do his face. So we'll put his face like in here. So we start with his, his, I say the side of his face, right? So we'll go just to get it in the right place. So this is like the side of his face here. And it's like his chin is tucked in behind his chest. So he's, he's got a chest muscle that goes that way and a chest muscle that goes that way. 
okay and then the other side of his face just like around here right, so his eyes and all the features are in inside here so we got the spiral eyebrow coming up here and there's like a hair spike there if we do the rest so it's like his hair comes across here and then some more sort of hair spikes coming across his eyebrow there so his eye underneath just a circular sort of thing here pupil and iris like that kind of looking down scar on his cheek other eye so you can't really see so the eyebrow will disappear under here somewhere and then another circular eye here eye or some pupil in there what we can see for his nose just like sort of we'll do something simple like that and his nose there and a big smiling mouth Some teeth, one piece style inside. So his ear sticking out this side, there, and the ear on the other side, it's behind his hair. So his hair kind of comes around there, and then the ear is like in there, and like these sort of ear lines. And then like his, the smoke. Sort of coming across his shoulder there and his like waistcoat and stuff shoulder going off that way so center line for his chest is like here you know, like comes around this way and you might have some like ab lines stuff there Get some ribs and his waistcoat will go flow off this way. Oh yeah, and the scar on his chest. So it goes all around here, disappears underneath his waistcoat here, and then spikes down. All around. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, you might see like the side of his body or something there. So then we've got this smoke that comes around his arm, sort of here. Like a spiral thing. Right, this will go behind his head, so we will finish his head here. So his hair, it's all these spikes. It's kind of a fun form to draw. It's, you know, it's very flowy and there's not a lot of angles or, you know, stuff like that. It's just flow. Okay. So then like his shoulder comes out here down to another arm which has a fist right so like this is like his waist and armpit and this comes down this way of course if you go over anything just you know you can erase the lines afterwards and this is like his wrist and his sleeve so his wrist will come out from here like so and then we have bottom of his hand there and it's kind of like round so it's like it's a real cartoony sort of thing so it goes up and down His thumb is here. 
the thumbnail and then those bottom knuckles then coming around here so very simply drawn done real quick as well okay So the rest of that sort of smoky stuff. Just here and I'll go around this fist it looks like. Around the back of his head. So, and then we have his waistcoat, just like bumping around here. So we'll go like out around here. Right, like so. So it's all dark in there and then like some folds going up his body there and then I think he has like a piece of fabric or something going this way just comes across his waistcoat here right. oh and there's smoke that comes out from here this cloudy sort of Like so. And then like scratches all over him and you know, cause it's the fight with Kaido. So he's got like lots of um, scratch marks and stuff on his face. You know, on his, on his hands and his knuckles and everything. You can do as much of that detail as you want. And of course, if you want to go crazy with it, you can add like lightning and things like coming out from clouds and stuff around here if you want. I can just go different like angles. Alright, but I think that'll do. That is how to draw Luffy Giant Mode. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.